be. Uh, yeah. Looking nice, looking nice. So, this is kind of the section he's going to do. We brought it up one block because of the bedrock down there. Uh, and yeah, we got materials with us. This is going to be great. Um, I think, yeah, I think I have my materials in here, the redstone box. Yes. So, all that needs to be done is build. Alrighty, guys. So, here is the door. Uh, we got some glitched items over there in the corner. But the design was by uh, Lum3NDO. ND0. Lemondo. I don't know how to say his proper name. Oh, here's KB. Hey. Um, speak of the devil. This is who we're doing this work for. Anyways, as you can see, this is uh, the door. And if we go over here to this lever, it's what I set up. It opens and closes. Very fast closing, uh, somewhat fast opening. Uh, it's a really nice door. I really like it. Uh, it's a really small door uh, with only a volume of 540 blocks. Uh, there was a block for block tutorial that I followed by him. It's an amazing tutorial. I'll link the video in the description below. So yeah, you guys can go check it out. Um, anyhow, uh, we're gonna go ahead and meet up with KB and discuss how to you know get this stuff set up. So yeah. Hello KB, uh, I finished the door as you can see. It's a little ugly because, well, stone bricks are the, the, the redstone block, obviously. Okay. Um, and yeah, you can give it a little try. There's a lever down there in the corner and you can Ooh. see the door in action. It won't do it, right? Hey? Wait, should you rather flip the lever so I can see what happens? Sure, sure, sure. Are you ready? I'm ready. nice i've never seen that in action there's the Fancy. opening and the closing is a lot faster and now you're locked in here i'll open it nice this is perfect it's way fancier than my actual base which is weird just this cosmetic location being all fancy <laughs> uh so you may notice that i actually moved the wall forward one block here <laughs> Um, that's just oh. because there is redstone right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and it was only, it was, it was a miscalculation on my part, and I was way too far in to restart, so, yeah. That's fine. It, it, it looks better if it comes one this way with uh, extra depth in the wall, and I can do things with that. Yeah, so, basically, uh, I don't see it being too problematic. Like, there's not really anything that I think could really break uh if as long as obviously what you're going to want to do is replace this stuff uh, so what i do is i would just turn it on oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry here I'll, I'll open it again i try to make it so you're going to want to when it's closed put what you want the door to look like and then open it and then make sure the edges are how you want them because there's going to be some stone bricks still in the edges um, and okay. then these stone bricks here have observers under them. So these need to be full blocks, whatever you do. Okay, okay. That sounds good. So yeah. I like it. Thank you very much for the payments. And it actually wasn't that long of a project there. I mean, if you go back there, you'll see all the redstone and stuff. It's a little scary, but uh, yeah. I, and I know the basics of redstone things, so it probably won't scare me that much. Um. So I've tried these kind of doors in the past, but it's obviously a little bit fancier than I've done. So I'll probably stare at it for hours and try and figure it out. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a rough thing. It's using some weird mechanics. Hopefully, it doesn't break in one sixteen. That's my only hope. <laughs> oh yes, I'll just uh, I'll just pay you some more to fix it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, thank you so much for the awesome fun job. That was a great project for me. Oh yeah, sure. Um, and thanks, thanks for helping me out. Yeah, thank you, neighbor. I'll see you another time. All right, guys. So <laughs> that was a fun little project for myself. I know I didn't really show you guys much of the process. Uh, I just like doing redstone projects, you know, chilling, especially when I'm following a tutorial. Uh, I could have come up with my own, but uh, I just figured, you know, I'd give it a try uh, to do something a little bit more interesting. I think that did a pretty good job. 
So today, guys, uh, is going to be the start of our base. Yes, I'm super excited. <clears throat> I'm very, very excited for this because it has been a long time coming, and oh man, this is, this is going to be great. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to hire some terraforming work, and but first, what I want to do is get the central structure uh, that's going to be having the just going to be the plaza, I guess. Pla 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 I don't know how to say that word. I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to be the kind of platform <clears throat> that's going to have our base that, you know, jets out from here and has the disc and then the guardian face and all that stuff. It's going to be great. Um, but, of course, we're going to have our guardian farm in the middle here. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get our uh, like base structure up correctly. So what that means is we're going to have to take down all these pillars from the center points, which is this crafting bench mm -hmm. we're going to go out uh, about to here and we're going to section out a circle and then um, what we're going to do is we're going to build up that circle in a cone shape it's going to be real interesting and yeah we'll say bye to KB and I'll see you guys uh, after I've laid out the first foundations yeah so that looks really good um <laughs> I really like this kind of accent around. Um, that really, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's really nice. So yeah, I guess I should kind of explain what the overall color scheme of the base is. So we're using the prismarine bricks, the dark prismarine um, bricks, the andesite and the smooth stone and then cyan glass, obviously. Um, and so yeah, I really like the way this kind of works with everything. I really like andesite and the smooth stone and the that stuff and the glass. It all looks good to me. So that is the overall design of the that's the overall color palettes that I've come up with for this base. I really like the way it is because it's kind of different than what you would normally see in one of these bases and uh, yeah so that's that. Now the next thing that I want to go over is the farm that's going to go on top of here is probably going to cover up some of this so um, we might redesign it as like some sort of thing because that is the bottom level of where the farm is going to go so this is this design isn't really going to be showing up too much uh, this was just kind of to see what the different blocks look like uh, but we are out of dark prismarine i didn't finish the other side here as you can see we still got a good amount to do um and yeah i'm totally out i bought like five stacks of um this stuff and it cost me 20 diamonds so yeah it, it's really like we need our farm but we also need a wither rose farm for black dye and so yeah let's get into that so uh the first thing we need to do is find a suitable location now this one to me doesn't look looted yet and of course we're going to label this so people know but this one does look pretty good um what I'm looking for is the portal to be on a really small island in pretty much the void, and all we have to do is like water up a specific area. So uh, let's go ahead and see where we end up here. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. Where is the portal? Right down there. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. So let's go ahead and uh, do that, and let's go back through. Oop. There we are, and let's go ahead, pull her back down. People can go through there and find out. <laughs> uh, nice, okay, that was perfect, so let's go. All right, this is more like it. There's the gateway. Yeah, this is definitely more like it. So all we gotta do is water, 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 water. And we can literally probably build our, pl our platform like right over here or more realistically, probably over this on this side, and then water that edge. Um, so yeah, the idea is. So I'm actually really scared of doing this because it's in the void. <laughs> we need to create some sort of direct line of sight to where the Endermen are going are to fall, and they're going to shoot and or the. The wither, which is going to be trapped in this thing, is going to shoot at the Enderman. 38, 39, 40. Okay, so there's 40 blocks right here. 
So the easy thing is we're going to be able to AFK like up here, right? So if, uh, this is, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I have an Optifine cape now. <laughs> uh, it's just a regular design. I'm going to ask people on my Discord to design a banner for me for my cape. But uh, yeah, for now, I just did like a half moon circle thing. There you go. Basically, you get a cape when you donate to Optifine. I thought they deserved it. So yeah. All right, so this is 40. So this is where we're going to start using this. So essentially, all we want to do is we want to basically make a regular Enderman farm up here. So we're going to want the Enderman to fall in a three wide gap right here because that was in line with that, which is perfect. Okay. All right, so we have a name tagged um, Endermite guy right there, as you can see all the particles going around. So when Endermen spawn, they're going to be like, oh my goodness, this guy, they're going to fall down there and they're going to be like, I'm going to run across here to get closer to him because I hate that guy. And then they're going to, instead, they're going to fall and they're going to fall kind of sadly, just down, down from here. It's all downhill. Okay, so uh, yeah. Alrighty, been a while since the last clip. I've put in the drop shoot here out of obsidian. The back is out of concrete, and so the bottom here, we got a little collection system with just the hoppers. Uh, it should be fine, but it's time to put in the uh, wither, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be a little stressful. Uh, I grinded these these out in like an hour or so, didn't take too long. Anyways, the way to do this is to place it here, right? Then, okay, th this could go horribly wrong or fine. So let's get this guy out of here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go up here. Come on, up, 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 up. Water. There we go. So he shouldn't have destroyed anything. And then there we go. <laughs> it's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. Uh, okay. Whew. All right. Oh, goodness. All right. Cool. Cool. Then, uh, it should be that we can do that. Oh, good. Goodness, get out of here. And we should... Perfect, perfect, amazing. All right, so this is a decent AFK spot here to just, you know, have stuff. We can put all of our stuff in here. When we come up here to AFK, we have our ender chest in case of an emergency. Uh, and we have, you know, just this area. And this should be plenty good. So the next task uh, will be to, number one, take the scaffolding down here from this section right here. So, boom. Then the next task, oh, let's just add that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put with a rose and ender pearls in here. Cool. All right. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up a way to get um, this this thing activated. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, <laughs> I didn't see the negative sign on the Y value. We lost everything. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. 
Well then. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh goodness, I am this is devastating. This is this is this is so devastating. Uh we can't shop at the slime shop because it's not a store, it hasn't been fixed. Uh in fact I'm gonna go ahead and show that clip right now while I recover my stuff. It's a wild GP. He doesn't see us. He does see us. We gotta go get some slime. Slime it is, guys. We need slime. We need we need this. We need slime. We need we need I mean we need slime. Help! I can't climb this. Yay! Whoa, how much is it? 100% guaranteed in stock 24-7, 366 days a year. Okay. I see some fine print there. Uh... Project Maple, one stack is a diamond. No hidden fees. Oh, oh, n no hidden fees. Like, no hidden fees. Okay. To to be truthful, I've I've already I've already bought from here. But Not a shop does not does not meet puffs requirements for spawn shops. Guidelines. Reason Ender Chest I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> no, my last three diamonds. Oh man. Okay, guys. So, ah, uh, I've regeared. I've renamed everything. Um. Everything's good. We're on this the fourth the fourth chain. So, number four, number four, number four. Um, everything has some sort of reference. Uh, yeah. So, basically, we are out of diamonds now because we need to buy slime and rockets. So first things first, we're gonna buy three stacks of this stuff. 
uh, uh, okay, one, two, three stacks there. We're going to give him a diamond. Okay, now we're going to go all the way over here to this guy up here who does not meet the standards of the PRFSS, which you guys know what that is now. Um, but we are going to. Ooh, diamonds. Okay, we are going to buy. Let's see, what is it? Uh, one stack, one diamonds. Easy. Clap. Nice. Okay. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look way cooler. I don't know why that's there, but, but okay. Anyways, I just made his shop way better. And we should be out of diamonds. We are amazing. Not really. I'm going to get rid of these. I I'm not littering. Don't worry about it. Okay. Already. So, <laughs> redone. Let's try that again. Okay, let's go check, make sure that that is getting powered. Nice, okay. Amazing, so off we have, and then we should be able to turn this thing on just up here where we enter. So this is all we'll ever have to see with this farm. So that retracted that, and let's just make sure that that worked. So retracted, 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 everything's retracted, and down there, we should see. Yep, good, and then that, he is of course doing that, and eventually we'll do some more stuff where the items get elevated all the way up to there, and so all we have to do is literally just go there and then fly back. So yeah, that is awesome. Uh, I'm really glad we got this done. Because now I'm going to go AFK <laughs> um, and see if we can get some Wither Roses. The farm is on. So it's a little bit tough to figure out uh, if it's on or off yet. I'll figure out something to do with that. But I'm going to take advantage of the AFK platform we made and put everything in here. All of our redstone supplies that we used and armor and stuff. And uh, yeah, the food even. And I'm going to go AFK and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it hasn't even been that long. I think I spent about half an hour editing, maybe even less, and oh yeah. Wither Roses for days, guys. Wither Roses for days. So of course, I do want to do some more work here soon, but yeah, for now, everything is working just how I want it to and yeah it's awesome these this is just super super useful um, yeah so let's go ahead and grab nine stacks in like under I don't know this, this is great okay he looks like he wants to mess with me so let's go up here and let's turn the farm off. There we go. Nice. Black dye. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Nice. And we also have Wither Roses, which super useful. We're going to sell these things. It's going to be awesome. So, guys. Yeah. Now it's time to go to the base. And I want to show you guys some work I've done uh, over there as I've been doing this as well. Um, yeah. So, I'll meet you guys over there.